just in time for the 2024 Rally Championship season. Our EA Sports WRC Pace Note Guide is here to help you make sense of your co-driver's calls. Rally is significantly different from circuit racing. Your co-driver is helping you to anticipate what is coming up. Concentrate, Sammy, please. Because unlike on a circuit, rally drivers cannot complete practice lap after practice lap. So these pace notes are really integral to their driving. There is a really tight bond between drivers and their co-drivers, as both need to trust each other blindly. If you are just getting into rally, these pace notes might be confusing to you. But don't worry, just in time for the 2024 WRC Monte Carlo, we are here with our brand new WRC Pace Notes Guide. For you guys. Hello everyone, welcome back to Overtake. My name is Darius, I'm one of the video editors and today I want to explain to you how pace notes in Rallycross work. If you want to be a better rally car driver than Samir and his co-driver, just watch this video. The most important part of pace notes is to inform the driver of the turns coming up, how fast they are and what dangers they may hold. For this, the turns are generally numbered from 1 to 6 from slowest to fastest. Hairpins and flat-out corners extend this range. As a rule of thumb, the corner numbers roughly correspond to the gear you take them in. Modern Rally 1 cars only have 5 gears though, so this often does not line up perfectly. Still, it serves as a good baseline. Additionally, tight turns have a few more distinctions. Most notable are hairpins, which are very tight corners, which generally means turns of 180 degrees. And they can be open, tight or acute, which usually describes where two roads merge into a Y shape. Generally, once one of these calls come up, it's the best to proceed with caution, as they can be very slow. Your co-driver might throw in an unseen before the happen call. That is when you really need to be on your toes. Otherwise, you may just blow up by the turn into a guardrail or worse, of a cliff. <coughs> Meanwhile, if you hear turn ahead of the basic corner call, this means that you are supposed to turn off the current road. An example of this would be turning off a proper road and onto a back road into the woods while the actual road continues ahead. On the other end of the spectrum, they are calls for flat or slight turns, as seen above, flat, which means you're blasting through it with full throttle. And slight basically indicates the same, but generally stands for shorter and sometimes hardly noticeable turns. Note that calls like keep right or keep left may be added in order to position the car correctly for one of the upcoming turns. Positioning the car through a corner is also extremely important in order to gain time or prevent damage. Those green and red icons above will appear alongside corner call icons. The green icon means cut, so you can cut the corner without hazard to gain time. The red icon means the opposite, as there could be rocks, bumps or other stuff on the inside of the turn to end your run. And you don't want that to happen, right? When tackling a rally stage, calls will frequently sound something like this. Left 3, 100, right 5, into hairpin left. And you may wonder what these big numbers like 20, 40 or even 230 even mean. Well, they simply indicate the distance between a call and the next turn. These distances are not always followed by turns, but also bumps, dips or jumps. They simply serve as an approximation as to when the next part of the stage you need to be aware of comes up. Should you have the co-driver call icons enabled in your hut, these distances get displayed alongside the icon of the turn or bump. Calls like slowing, caution or double caution can be made. Misjudging these can mean a big crash, as these are normally used in sections where the car is really, really fast. Not every single turn will fit into the calls I've mentioned earlier. Some change as they go on, some have certain ways to attack them. This is reflected into the co-driver's calls. Let's start with turns that change their radius. If a turn starts out as a 5 but then becomes much slower halfway through, a call might sound like this. Left 5 tightens into left 2. As you usually would a relatively fastly fast left 5, but rather slow down ahead during the first part of the turn. Tightening corners can surprise you in a very negative car destroying way. The opposite of this one is the opens call. If you hear this, the turn will decrease in radius, meaning it will be faster towards the exit. Titans is always followed by a smaller turn number than initially called out, and vice versa for opens. The length of turns that differ from the usual standard length is given as sharp, half long, long or extra long from shortest to longest. Rallying is all about mastering different conditions. And with that, I don't just mean different weather. Stages will be bumpy, full of jumps and changing surfaces. Add in a bunch of hazards and you have a long list of things to be aware of in order to blast through a stage properly. When the surface of a stage changes, for instance from tarmac to gravel, your co-driver will let you know via a call like onto gravel. In this case, similar calls include 
ice patches from here. For example, at the Rally Monte Carlo. Elevation changes can make a big difference on how to approach a section coming up. A bump can unsettle the car, overcrests your vehicle, becomes lighter, and jumps leave you unable to do any corrections once you launch off of them. Approaching them properly depending on the pace notes, telling you what comes after them is essential. Meanwhile, if a turn features a dip, it may be a bit faster than the number call makes it seem. As your car goes through compression, it can gain more grip as its weight pushes down more. Downhill and uphill simply denote the upcoming section features a continuous decline or incline. The width of roads can frequently change over the course of a stage. The widens, narrows, calls serve to make you aware that you can relax a bit. You need to be more careful as there is less road available. You will encounter several hazards during Rally 2. Bridges usually mean narrower roads and missing the entry could mean plunging into a river or similar. Meanwhile, cattle grids will almost shake your car apart and offer little in terms of grip. Water splashes mean you will run through a small river or other body of water, which will slow you down and restrict your vision temporarily. But there is more to hit than the stage itself. Piles of logs can easily get in your way, as can rocks, houses, parked vehicles and more. Speaking of hay bales, they can also create new turns, namely chicanes. These come in two variations. Those being left entry and right entry chicanes. This call serves to let you know where to aim and position your car when approaching these. Meanwhile, past junction is pretty obvious, right? You need to blow past the upcoming junction of roads. Furthermore, your co-driver may inform you about straight, technical and twisty sections ahead. Technical in this case does not necessarily mean slow, but with frequent turns that require more precision as usual. Twisty on the other hand usually means that a slow sections with lots of turns awaits. Unlike usually, the aim of regularity rally is to finish a stage as a close to given average speed or time as possible. So being as fast as possible is not the essential element here, but rather being consistent and nailing the required time. Regularity Rally uses the usual pace notes, but adds in a few more others. This way, your co-driver will let you know whether you should speed up, slow down or keep the current pace. It is worth noting that the corner calls in Regularity Rally do not have numbers, but rather grades. So instead of a left three, you hear a medium left instead. Now that you know what your co-driver calls mean, it is important to turn your attention to one more element. We are talking about the timing of those pace notes, which can be customized using different settings. So try some of them and find your sweet spot. Calls being made too early can mean that you lose track of what's coming up next. Uh, you're not paying attention and then you may overshot a turn already. If the stream of information in the beginning is just too much for you, you can also enable simplified pace notes until you get the hang of things. So how good are you guys in rally games? Is it too complicated for you or are you really into it? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Overtake if you don't have already. My name is Darius and I will see you next time.